What's up, Disney people? We're back. Let's just slide inside the box. Ever so gently. Okay, I'm not buying anything. Thank you. Okay, before we get on to Frozone, why do I make videos like this? And I'll tell you from experience from a, a previous game that I used to play. There was someone who made pretty sweet videos, but you know he's using the equivalent of you know of that game. He's like seven star characters, you know, tier seven. And it's like, look how you beat this team, and look how you play this uh, this club stuff. I'm like, that doesn't help me. I don't have any seven star characters. You know, so seeing videos of Frozone with seven stars, what does that help? It's basically just become available. So this is Frozone for people who you know play the game normally. So let's go. Um, my mouse is broken, so I have to use the freaking pad thing. So Frozone was quite a unique um, situation because you just had to earn the coins from the normal hero and villain campaigns. And I've just done that at a normal rate. And only today has he become available. Well, I've got enough tokens, so let's unlock this. Okay, to use him, I'm gonna have to spend, let's say, uh, let's guess. 268,000 to level him up. 294,000. That's fantastic. Okay. So I've got to get him to tier 3 as usual. Equip all. So where, where is he? Uh, offense 125. I just want to keep. It doesn't really matter. You know, when the character stats when he starts is seriously irrelevant. Tier up. Okay, so now he is tier 3. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Right, what about this? In no, that's not what I want. Okay, enchanted gear. So it's gear tier 3. Power's only 166. It's amazing how. Oh, he's also two star, which is like super useless. Anyway, that's that's how you get him. So that's how you're gonna have to start playing with him. Health 2000, defense, offense, everything sucks. And he's a support character. I didn't actually know that. Okay, in the Incredibles, so you can use him with your Incredibles team if that's your thing. Okay, where are we gonna use him? Let's just do summoner challenges. As I must say, it's starting to be hard for me to stay in the top 100 in Sorcerer's Arena. Uh, let's do this. I just can't quite beat this level 50 without losing a character. I've been pretty close. Okay, so I'm going to throw out Scar for this. I keep these guys, I need the tank, I need my downtown villains. This is going to drop my deck power so much. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. I'm going to stick with this and peanut pummel, let's go. So yeah, this is, I like to do a any sort of battle without checking Frozone and then check him afterwards and then I'll try again. But being two star he could just get totally shredded straight away so we'll see about that. Oh God, this is this is shit. I hate this. Okay let's defense down everybody. Okay it's not so bad. Let's uh, silence someone. This guy? No, let's just silence the main chicka. <sighs> let's just taunt so Frozone doesn't get killed, but he still can. They do this weird attack that hits everyone. Okay, let's just make this guy into a frog. Come on, Frozone, when's it gonna be your turn? Okay, so basic attack. 
deal damage. This thing that's trying to disperse deal up to whatever damage to target opponent or flanking opponents. Flick slow, defense down. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't quite see the next character to play, but it's probably this chick. And it's going to do flanking opponents as well. But you can see their speed meter. Let's see what happens. Ah, I didn't see anything change. Okay. Uh, let's smash this guy. And this guy. We're gonna get stealth. God, I love Randall. Alright. Yeah, this isn't gonna accomplish much. Cause... Anyway, let's not use the peanut pummel now. What happened to his turn? I thought it was coming up. Okay. Let's hit the guy that's evaded. Probably still die. No. Take out this guy. Okay, Frozone. Come on. So this... In case target teammate in Icy Pillar. Remove all harmful effects as well as taunt. And apply stasis. Okay, well this is a good opportunity. Let's get rid of this crap. Uh, stun, Simba. So I think press it first and then target. See, that's great. And now it's got stasis. What does that do? Affected character cannot use abilities, cannot be targeted, and cannot be dealt damage. That's pretty sweet. So it removes everything. Obviously taunt has to go away because, you know, you can't have taunt and you cannot be targeted. Alright, that's pretty cool. You know, a character that can get rid of especially things like charm and stun and silence. That's great. That's very useful. Look at Randall. He's got so much continuous healing because of Basilea. Upgraded his passive abilities, maxed out. So awesome. Okay, I need something better than that. Let's try this. This should be difficult enough. Club Dungeon. Uh, yeah. 47. Okay, let's get Frozone back in here. He's going to get smashed, so I need to make sure I protect him. Oh, what was the other spell? Nah, that's fine. Seriously, one hit and he's probably down. Okay, but that stasis thing is pretty badass. It could really come in handy. And then obviously there are uh, the summoner challenges where you need to use certain characters like support only, defense only. So he's probably a good support character. You want to get him. Okay, so who's next? One of these guys. Let's guess this guy. Silence. Okay, so let's put taunt on straight away. Good guess. Um, let's make this guy into a frog. Cupboard shot me. Okay, so you're gonna have to save this stasis for when you need it. And then on stasis expire, we can get to see that it restores health. That's pretty sweet. So this will do this for the flanking opponents. So it does inflict slow or defense down. Oh, okay, either one, let's see. Slow, slow, slow. All right. Okay. Let's attack the frog with big bad wolf. 2,000 damage. Okay, so let's finish this guy and go into stealth. Boom, I love that. 
stealth and healing. That's that's what you want from life. Okay. Finish this guy. Probably won't at all. Okay, I'm hoping to see this now because Randall's in stealth. If he's in stealth, this continuous attack can happen. See, 30% chance to continue attacking, and I've seen him attack five times. So just at least do two, Randall. One, no, you little bitch. Okay, nothing to clear, so we'll save that. But at the same time, even if you don't clear, he'll have st um, stasis and heal. But no one needs healing either. Let's kill this cupboard. Come on, Randall, I need to test you out again, son. Okay, well, let's put Torn back on Simba. Come on, two hits. Okay, you see? can continue attacking, I'm seeing him do it five times. Forget this is not about Randall right now, but yeah, it's important. Okay, I'd like to take out the back guy first. Okay, they've got haste up now. Cannot do anything about it. See, this is good time to have Frozone. Well, when the characters, the opponents have haste up. But I'm one turn too late for that. Yeah, hit everyone. Okay, so let's get into stealth with Randall. Oh, that's bad. Who's next? Probably this guy. Make him a frog. Okay, I gotta put Taunt back on. Alright. So, oh, can I do it to myself? I can. Cleanse myself. There we go. And I've got stasis for two turns. Let's finish off this guy at the back. Okay, so you can cleanse yourself as well. Go into stasis. Pretty great. Um, yeah, let's just finish that cover at all. Okay, I thought Frozone was a little bit crapper than this. But if you have, you know, it's a support character. If you use a support character properly, he seems pretty solid. I'm liking him. Uh, yeah, it's going to stealth for the last round. Massive damage, continuous healing, and stealth. Yeah, I'm loving this, man. Okay, let's do damage down on these guys. Let's blind everyone. Okay, now we can do this uh, haste or defense down thing. Okay, it's all haste. Down. Uh, let's smash Zerg first, why not? Okay, I've got to put Taunt back on Simba. Multiple attacks. Damn it. Damn it, Randall. Doesn't seem common enough, but at least it's there. Okay, obviously, as a two-star against a level 47 tier 1000, he's not going to do any standard damage, but that's because of that. Hit everybody. They're all villains, so the fence down doesn't happen much for Big Bad Wolf. Okay, come on, multiple hits, son. One, two. Oh. Turn Scar into a frog. Oh, I didn't target him. I keep making that. I still make that mistake. Anyway. So let's do this to myself and see the healing afterwards. Okay. 
big heal for Big Bad Wolf. And it's gone. Um, silence. Kinda have to. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna see the stasis thing work, but it's fine. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty great. You know, gonna have to level him up, and uh, you know, getting getting tokens for Frozone is also a problem. We'll see if he becomes available generally in you know one of the campaigns or something. But it looks pretty useful. I like that. And. You know, I've sort of underrated haste and decreasing the speed meter and an end. If you're in a battle, especially in like PvP and like the next and the opponent's got a couple of players whose turns are next and you hit them or that, I've seen them just ship down and you can you can have your guys play again. But that might be for you know increasing your own speed. But anyway, there's Definitely possible uses for that. Let's check how leveling up his skills looks. Okay, that's cold is basic. So it's just damage, 50% chance to inflict slow again. So he's all about slow. One turn or increased duration of slow by one if it's already present and then more damage. That's pretty cool. Colder than cold. So deal up to 210 damage to target and all flanking opponents inflict slow for two turns or defense down for two turns on uh, on target already affected by slow. Okay, if you're already a slow, then it's defense down. That's pretty cool. 30% chance to reduce speed meter by 50%. You see that? That's what you want. That's huge. And then more damage. So that's what you want to upgrade straight away so that you can throw their turns out the window and get your turns back. Okay, the special with the stasis in case teammates and icy pillar remove all harmful effects as well as taunt, apply stasis. When stasis expires, you get healing. 50% chance for affected teammate to gain a shield, that's pretty cool, and then more health. So that's, a, that's probably the best support character um, skill that you'll see. Passive, I didn't check. On receiving damage, 15% chance to counter attack. That's cool. Deal up to for 1 for 4 damage and inflict slow for 1 turn or stun for 1 turn if they're already slowed. So yeah, everything's about uh, slow. Which sounds stupid, but when it's actually working for you, you'll see how slow is useful. And then it does other effects, like here, yeah, stun. Stun is obviously super valuable. Or defense down with that other skill if they already have slow. So if you have another character that tends to do slow, plus Frozone, you know, that's gonna get somewhere. Level two, when an Incredibles hero teammate falls below 50% health, or any teammate gains stasis, Frozone gains his own speed. So yeah, on first glance, he might seem a bit pansy, but he really is a good support character. Remember their place. Don't try and use him as an as offensive character if he's not. So I think that was that was pretty cool. Um, again, but going into this video, I thought Frozone looked a little bit crappy, but he, he looks good. And that's on two stars. Obviously his stats are pretty bad on two stars. So yeah, I mean, go for it. I think you only have today, and then who knows. I suppose at the end of the day, is he worth buying, you know, at the store? This is... Shit, if, you, if you're if fine with spending money, why not? He's got his place. The only problem is that we've, I think you first need to make sure we can get more tokens for him. Because if he starts on two stars and, it, and it, the event ends, then what? He's stuck on two stars for six months. So wait and see. Unlock him now for sure, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Yeah. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs>